Okay, so here you can see I've got a basic Ableton Live session open. Um, and we're just going to work with audio for our purposes here because the idea is to set up uh, tracks using stems um, so that we can create an entire performance set. Uh, so we're not going to want to use a bunch of virtual instruments and stuff like that um, for, for a number of reasons that I, I won't go into right now. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the Add Folder uh, command over here in the Places section, and I'm going to point that at my stem output folder that we looked at in the previous video. So what's cool about this is now I can just pop that open and see all of my stems. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find my intro stem that I made from the bass submix, and I'm gonna go ahead and drag that out onto audio three, because I wanna keep it in the same relative position um, that it was in in the Pro Tools session. So that's gonna be my intro section. Then I'm going to find my main uh, stems here, and I know I'm going to want to start with drums, uh, percussion, again, the, the main bass, and then I have my pads, my leads, my guitar, my piano, and my reverb return, which again, I don't know if I'll use, but there it is. Uh, next, I'll find the bridge section that I set up so that I could loop um, you know, a separate sort of center section of the tune. Um, and that's gonna be the same layout. Then I'm gonna go on to the end section of the tune. And then for my outro, um, I've just got the two uh, uh, clips here, and that is the drums and the percussion. Okay, so now it's a good idea to go ahead and name these things. So um, I'm going to go ahead and step through and name all of these tracks so that they follow the naming of the clips that I assigned there. So let's do that really quickly. And then the next thing I want to do is go ahead and name the scenes over here on the right-hand side. Okay, so now we're pretty much set, and um, I'm not going to play through the whole song, but I'll just give you an idea of now how easy it's going to be to just switch between these different sections. Uh, you know, I'm mostly going to play them in a linear fashion, but I'd be able to play on the intro as long as I want, sit on the bridge for as long as I want, sit on the outro for as long as I want. And um, that way, uh, especially for the intro and the outro, I'd be able to uh, mix out of another song into this song or um, out of this song into the song that's going to follow. Okay, so I'll just play around a little bit and you'll be able to hear what's going on. Okay, so that gives you a pretty good idea of how um, it's really easy in Ableton to just transition through uh, the different sections that I exported as stems. 
Um, so that's pretty much it for now. Uh, the next step in this obviously would be to add additional songs uh, before this song or after this song. And of course, they could be stereo mixes or they could be other um, stem mixes uh, like we have here. Uh, okay, thanks for watching.